if I can run Mac OS Ventura hacking touch on this cheap PC, then you obviously can do better. Hello guys, in this video, we are going to install Mac OS Ventura hacking touch using OpenCore on a $20 Lenovo Think Center mini PC. This PC comes with Intel Core i5 4th gen processor. I added two sticks of 4 gig DDR3 RAM and 500 gig hard disk to it. Everything was about $30 with the additions. I will leave the link to get a similar PC in the video description so you can check it out if you are interested in getting one. Now this process is the same either you are using a cheap PC or an expensive PC. Now here are some of the requirements. First, we need at least a 16GB flash drive. Second, we need Balena HR which we are going to use to create a bootable disk. Third, we need Explorer++. Fourth, we need Mini2 Partition Wizard. Fifth, we need Gen SM BIOS. We need OpenCore EFI. And lastly, we need our Mac OS installer file. Now, the link to each and every one of these files will be provided in the video description so you can download yourself. Before you download the EFI for your PC, you need to check your CPU profile. And to do that, open Task Manager. And then click on Performance. Here you can see your CPU. In my case, this is Intel Core i5 4th gen because it is starting from 4. Now you have to match your CPU name to the code name associated with your computer so you know the right EFI file you need to download. In my case, this is Intel Core i5 4th gen which has the code name Haswell. So we are going to be downloading EFI files for Haswell. You can download each and every one of these files from the link provided in the video description. Okay, so this is Balena Etcher. This is Mac OS Ventura installation file. This is Mini2 Partition Wizard. This is Gen SM BIOS. This is Explorer++. And this is our EFI Open Core file. Now, like I said earlier, the link to each and every one of these files will be provided in the video description. So you can download it yourself. Now, the first thing we have to do is install Balena Etcher. Double click on it. Now let's click on flash from file and then head to your download folder and then select our Mac OS Ventura installer file. Open. Now we have to select target so let's connect our 16GB flash drive. If you have more than that it is still fine. In my case I am using a 32GB flash drive. So now we click on select target and then I'm going to select my 32GB flash drive. Select. And then click on flash. Now it's going to create a bootable disk with Mac OS Ventura installer right into our USB flash drive which we are going to use for the installation. Now this may take about 30 minutes or less but we just have to wait. While we are waiting we could also work on other things. So let's head back to our download folder. Now we have to extract our open core file. So let's just right click and then extract with WinRAR. Also extract Explorer++. Plus Plus and then extract Gen SM BIOS. Okay, now we can delete the three of them since we don't need them. We've extracted them already. Now open EFI open call folder. And then you should see another folder called EFI inside. That is what we need. So I'm just going to cut it. And then paste it in our download folder. And then we can delete the EFI folder we extracted as well. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is generate unique serial keys for our Mac OS machine. And to do that, let's open Gen SM BIOS. Master. And then run the Windows batch file over here. And it should pop up. Just like this, head to our download folder and then head to EFI OC and then make sure you are able to locate this file right here called config.plist. Now we're going to be modifying this file while generating our unique ID. Now let's head to Gen SM BIOS. The first option is to install and update Mac Syria. So enter one. And then hit enter.
and we are done with that it should bring us back to the previous page now the next thing we have to do is select our configuration plist file by entering two and then hit enter now we have to drag our config.plist file over here in our download efi oc folder and then just drop it there and it should look like this this is just the directory you could also copy it from here by clicking on this and just copying it direct it is the same thing now we hit enter so you can see our current p list over here has been selected now we enter three to generate sm bios and then we have to enter the machine we are generating sm bios for now to run mac os ventura we are going to generate sm bios for imac pro one comma one hit enter generated you can see the key is right here enter to return we're also going to generate uuid by entering four enter return and lastly generate rom by entering five enter and then return now we can use q to quit so we've successfully generated unique id for our mac os ventura now we can head to our download folder we can delete gen sm bios since we no longer need it right now we have to wait for balena hr to finish flashing so we can now move the efi folder to the efi partition of our flash drive and we are done creating the bootable disk now let's head back to our download folder and then let's install mini 2 partition wizard english set your language continue we are going with free version of mini 2 partition wizard so continue with the free edition next we can disable the rest next now we click finish to launch okay so what we are about to do with mini 2 partition wizard is to add a label to the efi partition of our removable disk our flash drive so we can copy our efi files right there so you can see the second disk over here disk 2 this is a removable disk and you can see an efi partition under it as well so now we're going to right click on this efi partition and then change letter i can change it to whatever letter i'm just going to give it x okay and then click on apply down here twice yes okay let's close this now let's head back to our download folder and then open explorer plus plus now you can see explorer plus plus application right here right click and run as administrator now let's locate the efi folder in our download right here efi copy and then let's head to this pc and you should find efi with the letter x since we changed the letter to x and then delete everything right there now let's paste the new folder we copied there and then we can close this head back to our download folder and we are almost done now the last thing we have to do is partition our drive or wherever you want to install mac os so head to your search bar and then search for disk partition and you should see create and format hard disk partition click on it now you should see the list of all your drives right here now you can see disk 0 which is my hard drive 500 gigabytes 100 mb is the efi partition 464 gigabyte is my main partition and 674 megabyte is the healthy windows recovery partition disk 1 over here is a removable drive which we should leave the way it is now we are going to shrink our drive and then install mac os ventura now you could decide to erase everything and install mac os ventura but in this case i'm just going to right click and then click on shrink volume and then set the desired size you want to shrink in this case you could give it 200 gigabytes or something around that shrink and you can see 195.31 gigabyte on allocated space which we can use to install mac os so in this case we're going to right click and then new simple volume next next give it whatever letter i'm just going to call it m next give it a name you can easily identify it with next finish 
so basically this is where we are going to install mac os you can see a space of 195 gigabytes now if you want to use the entire drive to install mac os ventura then you don't have to perform this step because when we are installing you can just erase the drive and install mac os so we are done now all we have to do is restart into mac os ventura and then start the installation hold f9 f12 or f1 to reboot into your bios setup this is different depending on the pc you're using so make sure to check your hardware manufacturer and the key to boot into the setup now the first thing we have to do is switch our drive to ahci you may see red there or any other option but make sure you switch to ahci next thing we have to do is turn off secure boot by going to the security option so we can head there and then disable secure boot make sure it is disabled and lastly we have to switch the boot option from legacy to uefi boot so the boot mode should be set to uefi only now we can save and exit now let's reboot again and then start the installation First, we are going to select Reset NVRAM, hit Enter. Now, we are going to select Install Mac OS Ventura and then hit Enter. Now, it's going to show a bunch of things running up. This should take about a minute or two. Just wait, don't press anything else. Now, select a language for the installation and then continue. First, we're going to go to disk utility so we can erase our disk and install mac os now if you look right there you can see the drive called mac which we partitioned earlier so from here we can erase the drive and then install mac os now if you check by the side you should see an option to view everything so if we click on view and then show all device you can see our drive right there apple hdd with 500 gigabytes Currently has two partitions, Windows and Mac partition, which is where we want to install Mac. So let's just show only the volumes. Now from here we can erase Mac by clicking on erase and then set the format to APFS and then we can click on erase. Now if you want to erase the entire drive then show all volume and then erase the entire drive instead of just that partition, which I should recommend but if you want to run both Windows and Mac then you just have to erase that partition. Done. Now we can close this and then head back to install Mac OS Ventura. Continue. Continue. Agree to the terms. Now select your drive where you want to install Mac OS and then continue. Now this may take about an hour or more. It all depends on your PC and the specifications. But you just have to wait patiently. It may restart severally while this is installing. successfully installed after about an hour now we just have to set up based on our preference And here we go, Mac OS Ventura is ready. Now we can head to about this Mac. And you can see this is running Mac OS Ventura 13. And everything works. Now one last thing, the EFI files we need to boot into Mac OS is currently in our flash drive which we should transfer to our main drive running Mac OS instead of our flash drive so we can boot directly without the use of the flash drive. So to do that, first we have to get a software called ESP Mounter Pro. I'll provide the link in the video description so you can download ESP Mounter Pro. Here it is right there on the screen. So we're just going to drag it to our desktop. And then we're going to double click on it to extract. And then let's run ESP Mounter Pro. 
enter your password to confirm. After installing ESP Mounter Pro, you should see an icon at the top right of your screen for ESP Mounter Pro, which we're going to click on. And now you should see the partitions on your drive. So basically, we have the EFI partition of our flash drive and the EFI partition of our main drive. So we're going to mount the EFI partition of our flash drive and then we copy the EFI folder or the contents of the EFI folder which we are going to transfer to the EFI partition of our main drive. So make sure you identify both of them right there. Now if you have Windows currently running in your main drive, you should also see it here. In that case, you can open the EFI folder and create a new folder called macOS. Then copy the contents of the EFI folder on our flash drive right into that new folder you created. But since I don't have anything there, I'm just going to copy directly to that EFI partition of our main drive and that is all basically. All we have to do is eject our flash drive, restart our PC and we can continue using Ventura. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.